whoopsie. Didn't mean to kick the camera there. Um, oh gosh, whoopsie. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Ah, I keep kicking it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I did my entire face of makeup except for one thing. Can anybody guess what it is? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Under eye concealer. So, I know you might not be able to tell on camera, but in person, it looks really weird without under eye concealer. You really start to realize what is so important in your makeup routine when you skip that step. But anyways, I skipped it for a specific reason. So I have found a new under eye concealer that I am loving. And that is the Tarte CC under eye corrector. It looks like this. I actually just purchased this not too long ago when Tarte was having their friends and family sale. I actually hauled it, so I'll link that video down below. So previous to this, I used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW20. Now this has been like my holy grail concealer for quite some time now. Um, I use it almost every day under my eyes and I love it, but I ran out of it and I forgot to buy a backup, so I had to start digging through some other purchases and I found this. I wanted to compare the two under eye concealers um, just to see which one I like better. So today I'm going to be doing that on camera and on this eye I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And on this side, I'm going to be using the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to put my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on this eye. So this product is great. It comes with a little pump. The pump is actually a pro and a con. It's probably more of a con just because it has like a little spout that runs through the product itself. And if you store it sideways like this, it clogs up very quickly and then it doesn't work anymore. So you have to store it upright like this, which is kind of a con, but it's in a little glass concealer, which is very nice, and the pump is great when you're applying it. So I usually will put, this is a brand new one, by the way, um, there we go. I'll usually put a pump or two on the back of my hand. I probably only needed one pump because I'm only doing one eye. Usually I'll do two pumps for two eyes. And I will be applying both of these with a wet beauty blender. So this is wet already, nice and clean. So what I do is I just dab this pointy end of the beauty blender into the concealer like that and then I dot it under my eye so my under eyes if you can tell are really blue here on the inside like on the bridge of my nose it has like a really blue color and then under it's really like red so you can see blue and red right there so I dab this all over starting with the bridge of my nose on the inside and then all the way over and then I drag it down a little bit too. I try to make like that rectangular, I'm sorry, that triangular shape, the upside down triangle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So this is going to be interesting. I have never put under eye concealer on after like blush and bronzer, so this ought to be interesting. <laughs> okay, so I put it on like that and then I take the fat side of the beauty blender and I kind of blend it in. Then, if I feel like I need a little bit more, I don't typically put more product on. I'll just take whatever is still on that little pointy side and I'll push it into the corner of my eyes or anywhere where I, where I feel like I need a little bit more. And then I will blend it out again. Okay, so next I'm going to apply the Tarte Under Eye Concealer on this eye. So for this one, I do it a little bit different. It obviously is not in a little container with a pump. So what I do is I take my ring finger and I swirl it around in the product. And then I take it and I dab it onto the same spots that I did with the other one. So I focus a lot on this inner part and then I dab it all the way around and drag it down a little bit. This 
one. Um, you can definitely blend in with your finger if you want a more full coverage. I typically like my under eye concealer to be a little bit more blended out, a little bit more sheer. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to kick the camera there. Um, oh gosh. Whoopsie. Okay. Sorry about that. So I typically like my under eye concealer to be a little bit more blended out. Um, so I'm going to take a Wet Beauty Blender. I actually just rinsed this off, but it's the same one that I used for the MAC side. And I'm going to take that pointy side and just blend in that under eye concealer. concealer is definitely more thick. I guess I never realized until I put one on right after the other. Oh my gosh, there I go kicking my camera again. Um, until I put one on right after the other like I did today. But this one is definitely more thick and has a lot more coverage initially. This one I have to layer on. As you saw, I put the first coat on and then I put like two coats of this one on. But this one is really, really thick which is good when it comes to under eye concealer. It's really thick and really creamy, and all I really needed was one little pat and then one blend with a beauty blender, and that's it. And it covers up, so you can see there's the Tarte one, and there's the MAC one. So they cover up fairly comparable. It's really hard to tell with this lighting that I have set up, but um, they look very similar. I, I used less product with this one. I used more product with this one. Um, so there is the MAC. And here is Tarte. Okay, now I'm going to set both of them with a setting powder. I have to set every under eye concealer, regardless of the brand, with a setting powder or else it creases almost immediately on me. So today I'm going to be using this NARS contour blush in the color Olympia. So I'm going to use this one here, the yellowy color. So I'm going to just set that with my um, Sephora airbrush concealer brush. Okay, here's my thoughts. So they are both in the same price range. They are both roughly 20, 20 to 25 dollars um, each. I want to say the Tarte one is I think 23 and the MAC one is 20. So the Tarte one is a tiny bit more expensive. Um, let's see, the Tarte one has 0 .08 ounces in it and the MAC one has 0 .3 fluid ounces in it. Gosh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. It says 0 .08 ounces. Wow. Okay. So for the price, this one is definitely a better deal. I didn't realize that. Wow. Um, this one is obviously in a pot. It's in a compact form. This one's in a container with a pump. Um, so there's pros and cons to the packaging and the pricing of both of them. If you don't like to put your fingers in anything, then you probably, whoopsie, you probably wouldn't like this. However, you could always put your beauty blender directly in there and put it on. Um, I just choose to use my fingers. Um, so there's pros and cons to the packaging of both. As far as the product itself, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, and I have them side by side, I really, really prefer the Tarte one. It has much more full coverage. Although there's less product in the package, I only had to put a little bit on. Whereas this one, I had to put two or three layers on in order to get the same coverage as this one. Both have that slightly pinkish undertone. Um, I don't think I ever said it, but this is the light medium version of this, by the way. So they both have that slightly pinkish undertone. This one's a little bit more pink. So you can see the Tarte product has a little bit more of a pink undertone than the MAC. Um, and this is the cool toned MAC. It's the NW, so it's the cool toned one. So this is as pink as it gets. So this one's a little bit more pink. Maybe that has something to do with why it has more coverage. I really prefer this one. I think it gives a more full coverage. 
Um, but it's totally up to you. I still really like the MAC Pro Longwear. It's a brand new bottle and I plan on using it and I plan on repurchasing it. But this is a great product too. I think I prefer this one for under eye and I prefer this one for all over. Alright guys, well that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this comparison video. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this before, so I hope that I explained everything well and I hope that you learned a little bit from it. Um, definitely check out this Tarte Concealer if you haven't already. I really, really recommend it. It has definitely been a favorite of mine this month. Um, but yeah, that's all that I really have for you today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any other products that you would enjoy seeing a comparison for, let me know in the comment section down below. If I have the products or if I'm interested in buying them, then I will definitely do that for you. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.